How's it going guys? My name's Dice. Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys a lot of concepts that I just feel like a lot of people don't quite grasp yet in Rocket League. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I did get a supporter creator code, so if you want to buy anything, be sure to use my code DICERL in your Fortnite or Rocket League item shop. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to be covering three main points here. The first point, it's I'm pretty passionate about, so it may sound like I'm being toxic or like hostile, but it's just that it really upsets me when people do these things. So, first thing, play styles, right? A lot of lower rank, so like champ and lower, like champ 3, GC1, champ 3 and lower, they think for some reason that they can create their own play style. And what I mean by that is like create their own way of rotating, their own way of like Rocket League. And quite frankly, the game has been out since July of 2015. We're almost in 2025. That's almost 10 years. You're not going to create a new way Rocket League is being played. And honestly, if you're below the rank of Grand Champ, I would highly recommend just watching high level replays and playing how like one of your favorite pros plays. Like if you really like the way Zen plays, I highly doubt you can do this because you need an absurd amount of mechanics, but play like how Zen plays. You're gonna have to sit and free play for hours and hours and hours a day, but play like how someone you wanna play like plays, if that makes sense. Don't try to create your own play style because they're pros for a reason, right? They didn't, they're not lucky. They didn't just wake up one morning and become a pro player with these mechanics it's you know hours and hours of like grinding and hard work but yeah that's the first point is people that try to create their own like methodologies and rotates and mechanics first of all you're not creating a new mechanic it's not happening you're not going to create a better way to rotate than everyone's already been doing it's just play the game how it's meant to be played that one is probably the most frustrating to me because a lot of people come to me and they ask me for help on these replays, I watch the replays, and then I call it their rotation or what they're doing, and they say, well, actually, I feel like this is the best way to rotate. I'm like, what? Who are you, bro? <laughs> okay, that's the first point. The second point, and this one's kind of hard to talk about, is mechanics, right? So, a lot of my channel, it's tutorials on mechanics, right? I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that. The reason that I have a lot of tutorials on mechanics is because I feel like they're the most entertaining, right? Who doesn't want to learn a new mechanic? Who doesn't want to be double flip resetting in the air, triple flip resetting? You know, it's fun, it's enjoyable. But in the reality of things, these mechanics won't help you in ranked like at all. You're not going to be going in there and hitting triple resets, at least at a decently high rank. So when a lot of my rank up videos, I tell people you shouldn't be just doing these mechanics that I teach you, it seems super hypocritical. And the reason I say that is because the mechanics I show you, they're just fun mechanics, right? Like, I have a wall dash tutorial. It's my most popular video. It has 80k views. It's me just wall dashing. That's, like, it's really not going to do anything for you, like the long chain dashes. The single wall dashes, they will they can help you, arguably. I don't even do those anymore. But, yeah, so, like, a lot of these, like, I have a Mac Tough reset tutorial must see reset tutorial these mechanics won't do anything for you in ranked so it's the harsh truth that you probably shouldn't be doing these mechanics if you want to rank up you should just be sticking to you know your flicks your air dribble bumps flip resets like a single flip reset is good double flip reset is good but like doing like insane mechanics they're just really not going to help you rank up and so yeah i just wanted to get that off my chest because I kind of feel bad because I'm making all these videos about mechanics but the reality is these mechanics really won't do much for you at all they're, they just look cool and they're fun but they're not going to help you rank up so I don't want to mislead anyone and make them think I do say in all the videos that they're really not good in comp but I feel like some people they just misunderstand that and they think I do these mechanics in comp I only do mechanics like these in free play so and the last thing I want to talk about is your mentality in Rocket League, right? I know a lot of people who, every time they get on, they're like, oh, I'm so trash, I can't, I can't triple flip reset, I can't do this, I can't do that. And it's just such a negative way to look at the game. It's a game, right? It's like, 
instead of instead of getting on every day or whenever you get on, instead of looking at it like, oh, I'm so trash, look at it like you have more to work on, right? The man who enjoys the journey is going to get much further than the man who enjoys the destination. Because without the journey, if anyone could just wake up and be Supersonic Legend or be top 100 or be, you know, SSL and anything, if they could just wake up their 10th day playing the game, it wouldn't be that rewarding, right? It means a lot more to someone who went through a long journey to get to there than someone who just got boosted there, right? Like someone who got boosted SSL, those are the people that are usually flaunting how good they are the most, more so than people that actually earned SSL. So if you, if you're one of those people that just sits in like ranked games and you're like super toxic to your team if they miss a shot, I just, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just, it makes no sense to me when people are like toxic in an online video game because everyone's trying to improve in Rocket League, right? I guess what I'm just trying to say is no one really queues into ranked trying to get worse. So, you know, sitting there and quick chatting people are like being super hateful in the chat. It doesn't get you anywhere in your life. And at that point, you're just wasting your own time, right? Which I'd argue is your most valuable resource. You're just sitting there wasting your time, wasting someone else's time, being hateful, spewing negativity in the game. If everyone's just positive in the game, Rock League would be so much more fun. And honestly, I would say that Negativity is a big reason why Rocket League's player base has been on such a downfall, apart from Epic Games kind of ruining the game a bit. But, like, the negativity, it makes so many people want to quit the game because every time they queue into a twos match, maybe they're a bit washed and they miss a shot or they miss an open net or they miss a save. They get spammed, what to say, by their teammate. And then they decide, oh, let's play ones. So then they decide to go into a 1v1 game. And then Diamond 1 and 1s is the same thing thing is champ three and two so they can't really play ones without getting destroyed and it just it's not fun at all threes is just a horrible game mode it's so inflated especially ranked if they want to play threes they'll have to go to six mans and they'll have to make a six mans account and then they'll have to rank up and it's just like if people are just not negative i feel like the entire game is so much better but yeah i mean that's pretty much my two cents I just feel like negativity is a big problem in Rocket League and in a lot of other games too, but this is a Rocket League channel. Um, I don't know any other games that are as toxic as Rocket League though. Like for example, if any of you play like a game like Valorant or CSGO, I don't see anyone near as toxic for missing a shot like on someone and dying there than for someone missing a shot in open net in Rocket League, right? Free kill versus an open net, I feel like they're the same thing, but in Rocket League it's way more emphasized. And literally, I know people who will play with text chat disabled and l not get any comms at all, like take the shot or need boost or anything, just because they don't want to have to deal with the toxicity. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have in this video. I just hope that I can kind of help make Rocket League a better place and a lot less toxic. And I hope that all of you guys can rank up and join my Discord server too. If you'd like to join the community I have tried to build. And yeah, have a good day or night. Thanks for watching. Peace.